One of SRM's best features is its advanced traffic control and monitoring capabilities. We can monitor real-time and historical network traffic and then limit a bandwidth consumption for different devices and applications according to individual usage. All this can be easily achieved on the SRM. In this video, we will introduce how the new hardware acceleration mechanism enhances traffic control performance, but first, let's take a closer look at the traffic control interface. Sometimes excessive personal internet use during work hours can put a strain on company network resources. You may want to exercise some level of control over your employee's bandwidth usage. But instead of limiting the upload and download speeds of their computers, a much better way would be to reduce bandwidth consumption for only the non-work related applications. This way, other critical applications such as web browsers, instant messaging programs, and voice over IP apps can still run smoothly. However, you might notice that for some routers, enabling any form of traffic control can hinder performance. Usually, when managing traffic control, packets sent from one device to another must pass through the router's CPU so that the packet patterns can be analyzed. However, this consumes a significant amount of CPU resources and slows down the overall performance. What makes RT2600 AC different from other routers is that it leverages the knowledge exclusive hardware software integrated framework to maximize hardware acceleration. The chip in each RT2600 AC comes with a network subsystem engine to help offload work from the CPU, minimizing CPU usage and performance impact. This is a comparison between routers with hardware acceleration enabled and those that are disabled, tested with different protocols. As you can see, the difference in network performance is quite significant. We'll conduct a simple performance test to demonstrate the differences in network performance when transferring files from PC to NAS using FTP clients installed on two PCs. The two PCs will be connected to two RT2600 AC routers through LAN ports. Hardware acceleration will be enabled on router A and disabled on router B. These are the two sets of PCs, routers, and NAS devices that will be used to run this experiment. On the right side, we have a laptop that is connected to the router with hardware acceleration enabled, and on the left side, we have a laptop that is connected to the router with the hardware acceleration disabled. The same FTP client is already installed, and the same identical files are saved on the local drives of both laptops. Now we'll go ahead and start uploading the files by dragging and dropping from the local drive to the remote destination. After doing this, let's take a quick look at the SRM traffic control interface for both routers. As we scroll over to the right, we can see that SRM has identified the file transfer protocol, marked in red for the purposes of this video. On the right side of the screen shows the upload speed of the router with hardware solution enabled. We can see a huge difference in performance compared with the left side of the screen where it shows that the router with hardware acceleration disabled actually falls far behind in performance. Hardware acceleration allows admins to achieve granular traffic monitoring and control without sacrificing network performance. It is enabled on all large RT2600 AC routers, so you won't have to worry about where to set this up. To learn more about the router, please visit the website and while you're at it, you can also check out some other videos on our channel.